everyone, I'm Ranger Louise and today I'm in Yarmouth, which is on the northwest coast of the Isle of Wight. Yarmouth is one of the island's oldest towns and it also hosts one of the main ferry routes. Yarmouth sits on the mouth of the Western Yar Estuary, which is internationally important for the wildlife that can be found here. A few metres from the ferry terminal, there is a car park. Um, and then from the car park, there is a really lovely walk around the harbour where you can see lots of fantastic birds and wildlife. So let's take a look at what we can find today. So just in front of the, the mill house in the harbour um, is a really important area for the birds to feed. Um, at low tides, there, it exposes the mud flats and it's a really good site for, for lots of bird species to feed. So we're just going to take a look and see what we can find. So at the moment I can see some black-tailed godwit, some red shank, there's also lots of gull species down there. Um, we also get turnstones um, and lots of teal and widgeon in the area. I've just walked a few metres from the car park um, along the footpath towards the mill house and I've just spotted a group of black-tailed godwits who are just feeding in the waters um, just behind me. One good thing about this site um, is that the birds do really come quite close so you can get really good views of them from the main footpath. Um, because the birds do come quite close they can get very easily disturbed so if you are walking here um, it's a really great idea to stick to the footpaths uh, and if you're walking your dog just keep your dog close to you and avoid letting them go down onto the salt marshes and the mud flats where the birds are feeding. So we're just in front of the mill house, we've just walked a few metres away from the car park. So we're just going to carry on um, along the path and see what birds we can spot along the way. At the moment there are lots of widgeon um, which are resting on the salt marshes. The tide's just coming in now so the birds are being pushed off their mud flats um, onto the salt marsh and there's also some black-tailed godwits and I can see some green shank and also some dunlin feeding on the edges of the mud flats there. Um, so just behind me is Mill Cops Pond which is just a short walk away from the mill house along the shared path. Um, mill Cops Pond is a really good site to watch the birds um, it's a high tide roost, so when the, the tide is in, the birds get washed off the mud flats and very often they will come to the pond, um, which provides a lot of shelter for them and they'll sit and they'll roost and they'll wait for the, the tide to go back out again. So we get lots of teal, um, lots of widgeon here and also black-tailed godwits um, and the brent geese also are often seen um, on the pond as well, so it's a really nice spot to watch the birds. So just across um, from Millcops Pond um, is a really important area of salt marsh where the birds will often roost um, when the tide's in. Um, if you're lucky, you'll spot the flocks of lapwing and golden plover that are often seen here. And I can just see um, some lapwing and some golden plovers on the edge of the salt marshes there. So I've just walked to the other side of the harbour. Um, just behind me is the sailing club. Um, the harbour is a really popular area for water sports, including kayaking and paddle boarding. Um, so if you are out and about on the water, um, it would really be helpful to the birds um, to avoid the edges of the, the salt marshes. So um, give the birds plenty of space so that they can carry on feeding and resting undisturbed. Um, so just a few minutes walk from the harbour area um, across the, the swing bridge along the main road um, is Norton Spit, which you can just see behind me. Um, the Spit is a really good area to spot birds um, and there is also a footpath and to the left of the footpath is a shingly beach um, and to the right of the footpath is a really extensive area of mud flats and salt marshes. Um, this area is a really important site for birds um, 
to feed and to rest, um, particularly at high tide when the birds will come here to shelter um, and wait for the tide to go back out. So if you do um, come here for a walk, um, please look out for birds which may be feeding or resting close to the path um, and keep your dogs close to you to avoid disturbing the birds. At the end of the footpath is a sand dune area which is one of only two sand dune systems on the island. Um, from here in the summer months you can take the water taxi which takes you across to the other side of the harbour. So behind me is the coastal path which leads to Fort Victoria. Um, it's about a mile in that direction and Fort Victoria is an alternative site for walking your dog because there's lots of areas where you can let your dog off the lead um, so they can exercise and have fun um, without the worry of disturbing the birds. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of Yarmouth today. It's been an absolutely beautiful day and we've seen lots of incredible wildlife at the harbour here. If you do see me around um, along the coast of the Isle of Wight, come and say hello and I'm very happy to show you some of the wonderful wildlife that we get here on the coast. <laughs>